No other country has been as badly hit by COVID-19 as India. Credible international news publications are reporting that as many as 42 lakh people may have died of COVID in India, far greater than the 3 lakh official figure listed by the government. We are in this crisis today because the Bhatia Janta Party government did not take the pandemic seriously. When other countries invested heavily in research and development of vaccines as early as the first half of the 2020, the Bhatia Janta Party government did nothing. Instead of investing in science, the government promoted fake products like Coronil, risking the lives of Indians. They only reluctantly gave Bharat Biotech and Serum Institute an advance in May when the second wave had spread like wildfire all over India. When cases had reduced after Diwali last year, the Modi government had the golden opportunity to order enough vaccines for the entire population. But it declared that India was at the end game of the pandemic and only placed vaccine orders in January 2021. And that too only for 1.5 crore initial doses. India is also the only country to not centrally procure vaccines for its citizens. It has told states to negotiate with manufacturers themselves, even when manufacturers like Pfizer have stated that they will only deal with the government of India directly and not the states. What is the logic in making states fight amongst themselves to offer limited vaccine doses when it is the duty of the centre to procure and distribute vaccines for the entire country? Vaccination is not a gift. It is every Indian's right to be inoculated against COVID and it is the government's duty to provide universal free vaccination to all age groups. It is high time that the government understands that saving the lives of Indians must be its priority and not building a mansion for Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Join the Congress as we speak up to demand free universal vaccine for every Indian today.